Hey, what is up guys, I by Help here, and today has been a very busy day for Apple releasing iOS 10.0.3 for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus to fix that cellular connectivity issue that was plaguing those devices, and today they also released iOS 10.1 Beta 4. Now as usual on this video I'm going to give you guys a quick overall view of any of the new changes if any within iOS 10.1 and beta 4 and as usual here inside of the settings I want to give you the current build number which is 14B72B and that is the current build number for the latest beta of iOS 10.1. We could be anticipating iOS 10.1 to officially be released to the public here in the next week or so. There's some rumors of Apple holding a media event to update their Macs and maybe their iPod lineup as well. Here here at the end of October so we could be anticipating iOS 10.1 to be released in the week or two here following this beta 4 now there isn't any physical changes in comparison to the previous iOS 10.1 beta 3 unfortunately no new features guys no new wallpapers no dark mode and nothing like that I don't know if Apple is going to be waiting for iOS 10.2 for dark mode and whatever it is that they want to add it to iOS iOS 10.1 is focused on the portrait mode a feature for iPhone 7 plus users which by the way seems a lot more stable on this version of the software let me go ahead and share with you guys some of the latest Geekbench scores and I have something really interesting to share with you guys because we're going on a down spiral here. As you can see here, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, and beta 4 today. If you take a look at the single core score from beta 3 to beta 4, we see a 3452 on a single core and then you see a 3433 on the single core from beta 3 to beta 4 that is a drop and you also see a drop on the multi-core score from 5577 to 5541 and it's been a drop trend every single iteration of iOS 10.1 hopefully this is not the case when the official release to the public but I do feel like the OS stable enough it doesn't feel like the OS is slowing down there is a margin for error for this test but I do want to share with you guys a few other things before I let you guys go some of the glitches that we've talked about on previous videos where we go ahead and lock the rotation here and get that glitch on the control center it looks like apple fixed it maybe we'll see here let's do that again let's do that again here and nope it's still there so the control center glitch is still there is the lock screen glitch still there where you can record video while uh, putting your device to sleep and it looks like your device is off but it is still recording and yes it's still there as you can see i'm still recording and if i click cancel then you'll hear the recording stops so there's a glitch on the lock screen where you can record directly from your lock screen so there you guys have it that about brings it into this video no additional features have been added in ios 10.1 and beta 4 if you guys find any make sure to leave it in the comments section down below i'll further update you guys with any additional features as they become available like always if you enjoy these videos don't forget to click that like button much more videos coming your way be sure to stay tuned it's been iDevice help and i will catch you guys really soon peace